collateralized debt obligation. It's important to understand because it's what allowed a housing crisis to become a nationwide economic disaster. Here's world famous chef Anthony Bourdain to explain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm a chef on a Sunday afternoon setting the menu at a big restaurant. I ordered my fish on Friday, which is the mortgage bond that Michael Burry shorted. But some of the fresh fish doesn't sell. I don't know why. Maybe it just came out. Halibut has the intelligence of a dolphin. So what am I going to do? Throw all this unsold fish, which is the triple B level of the bond, in the garbage and take the loss? No way. Being the crafty and morally onerous chef that I am, whatever crappy levels of the bond I don't sell, I throw into a seafood stew. See, it's not old fish. It's a whole new thing. And the best part is they're eating three-day-old halibut. That is a CDO. Well, I just no, need to know how these could possibly be collated. No, so uh, somehow sorry, you're sorry, like the door of the explorer, and you're the first uh, person uh, who has on, found this on, thing. Hold on. So mortgage bonds are dog shit. CDOs are dog shit wrapped in cat shit. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Institutions treat these CDOs like they're as solid as treasury bonds, and they're going to zero. No, it can't be right. I mean, there, there was 500 billion in housing bonds sold last year alone. The ratings agencies, the banks, the fucking government. You're saying they're all asleep at the wheel? Yeah. My whole department's long on this stuff. They call me Chicken Little. They call me Bubble Boy. A's, zero. B's, zero. Double B's, zero. Triple B's, zero. And then that happens. What is that? That's America's housing market. Thank you. Fucking hey, Jared. Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs>